right, Matt from Total Drama here. Guys, really quick one. We're going to look at a paradiddle feel with moving accents. So we're just taking a basic rudiment and we're going to just do a little tweak to make it sound like something interesting, something different. Okay, um, go and grab the sheet music so you've got this from the link in the video description. So then you can be reading through this with me. So the first thing is just to, to get the basic paradiddle down. You know that, right? You know it. But normally we would do the, the accent on the first note each time. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So what we're going to do here is mess with that just a little bit. And it's going to make it sound like something a little bit more interesting and a bit disguised. So it just doesn't sound like a standard paradiddle. All right, so we're going to break it into four bits. We're playing 16th notes over a bar of 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so there's four chunks of this which comes out as two paradiddles. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Let's look at the four individual bits. First one, the accent is where we expect it. So it's on the first right hand. So it's like this. The second one, which is the left, right, left, left, we want to accent the first left hand naturally, okay? But we're not gonna do that. We're going to do that quiet and then we're going to accent the second note, which is the right hand. So the challenge there is not accenting the left hand. That's the big challenge. So it goes <laughs> left, right, left, left. Let's put those two together. So it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, halfway. Second half. It's back to right, left, right, right again. And what we're going to do here, instead of accenting the first note, the right hand, we're going to ignore that and we're going to accent the second note, which is the left hand. So same as the ch challenge in the last one, you want to accent the first note, resist, accent the second note. So it's right, left, right, right. And then finally, the last section is where you want it. It's the first note. So this is left, right, left, left. You're going to accent the first left hand. All right, so let's just do those last two together. So it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Cool. So you've got your four little bits. Let's put those together. That's it, All right? So it's not hard, but it's just creating a slightly interesting accent pattern. So a little bit more interesting. All right, so once you're comfortable with that, all we have to do is orchestrate that around the toms. And we start to come up with quite an interesting kind of melodic sound. So you can do it however you want. And that's the beauty of this. Learn a pattern on a pad or on a snare drum, and then, and then put it around the kit in different ways and come up with different stuff. It's nice and fun, nice and easy, and just a way to get even more mileage out of the humble old paradiddle.